Hello everyone, I'm Head Coach Mike Davis of the Central Methodist University Lady Eagles and we're here to talk about our 2019-2020 Lady Eagles. I'm standing here in the middle of Harrison Athletic Hall of Fame just outside of historic Puckett Fieldhouse. Lots and lots of talented players here, talented coaches. Many great teams are honored in this Hall of Fame. Our Lady Eagles know the history and we're excited to add to that. So now, let's take a look at each individual member that will make up our 2019-2020 Central Methodist University Lady Eagle basketball team. First up for our Lady Eagles is Nia Millett, a 5'7 inch freshman point guard from New Jersey. Unfortunately, Nia just suffered a broken bone in her hand and she may have to redshirt this year. We are just not certain. She's hard-nosed, she's tough, she possesses a lot of fight. She will be a great building block for our future. Next up, we have two kind of returners, Nia Flowers and Abby Naylor. Nia sat out last year when she was returning from an ACL surgery, while Abby was a true red shirt. Nia is a good shooter, just now getting her mobility back, great young lady who will definitely help us as this season goes on. Abby is one of our hardest workers. Everyone loves her. She's undersized in height, but oversized in heart. Great teammate. Some more young ladies, Nat Spiegel, Liz Spencer, Lauren Godbold, and Zaria Jones are four really good players. Nat is a sophomore transfer to us from Mount San Antonio College in California. Already improved tremendously. Great young lady who is really good off the bounce and her perimeter shooting is improving greatly. Liz, she returns for her senior year and has had a great preseason. Fierce competitor who can, who can and will guard you. She's made a huge, huge jump from last year and we expect good things from her. Lauren Godbold is another returner for her senior year here with the Lady Eagles. Outstanding young lady who makes us better every day. She's really improved on the perimeter and is really ready to have a good season. We expect good things from Lauren. Zaria Z. Jones, she's our powder keg. A nursing major, she will probably redshirt this year just due to the time it will take her to graduate. She'll be back next year to finish up her senior year and to graduate with her nursing degree. She's a great communicator, brings high energy. Hey, trust me, even as a red shirt, she's a valuable member of our team. Next up, Sam Carruth, a senior transfer from Las Vegas, Nevada. Great shooter with great range. Actually, she surprised all of us with her overall athletic abilities. She will fill a big need for us on the perimeter and someone that we will look to for big shots when we need threes. Deja Eli, six foot junior transfer from Central State after starting her career at IUPUI. Long, 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 with the ability to change the game on both ends of the court. A lefty who can play in or out. She will have a great two years here as a Lady Eagle. Expect some fun times from her. Taylor Victorine is another returner who will, turn, who will return to us as a junior, but we, this will be her last year on the court with us. She will graduate after only three years and then she will attend dental school. She had a great sophomore campaign with 69 made threes to lead us in that department. She's a tough, hard-nosed uh, defender, and she will also really help us with that ability to shoot the ball on the perimeter. Next up, another newcomer, Ashley Martin, a six-foot senior transfer from Iona College in New York. Very long wing, wing with a great understanding of the game. She has a great mid-range game and can finish at the basket as well. Link is a true disruptor on the defensive end. We expect a really, really good year from Ashley Martin. On the inside, Gloria Malumba is a six foot one true back to the basket player. This University of Sioux Falls transfer has good size, but also a really strong and quick first step. She's very aggressive around the basket and gives us a completely different look than we have had. She can be a difference maker for us. Next up, Lene Rodney, a five foot nine inch bucket maker transfer out of North Carolina Central after she led Monroe Community College to the NJCAA National Championship. While at Monroe, she was a first-team All-American who also scored over 20 points in a game. Lene can play in and out, and trust me, when I said bucket maker, that's what I mean. Next up, Veronica Paco Preciado. Paco comes to CMU from the University of San Francisco. She had a very good uh, tenure with the Dons after an All-American career at Eastern Arizona Community College. She can play the point or the wing, has a great feel for the game with a great perimeter shot. Shot over 40% from the three-point line at JUCO. She will be a big part of our success because of that ability, but also her ability to help lead a team. Our last three players are all returning seniors for us. Up first is Cheyenne Allen, a 5'9 guard. She averaged 7.5 points a game, 
three rebounds per game last year. She was coming off ACL surgery at that time. Now she's healthy. She is a different player. Conditioning is different. Quickness is different. She's back. Her shot looks different. Cheyenne will be very, very good for us this season. Crimson Jones. She returns for her senior season after an outstanding year for us last year. She was an honorable mention all-conference player. Averaged 10 points, 5 boards a ball game. Great competitor that has returned, again, in better condition and more determined than ever. Hey, she's got a chip on her shoulder. I think all oh, this entire team does. She will be a handful. Our last player is returning Mercedes Jefflow, a returning third-team All-American, Heart of America All-Conference selection, also the Heart of America Newcomer of the Year. Mercedes averaged 19.5 points a game, 5.6 rebounds, and 4.3 assists. At 5'11", she will be one of the best players in the NAIA. As good as she was last year, she's a different cat. More determined, more understanding of who we are, and I really expect Mercedes to be one of the truly best players in the country this year. We are excited to watch her compete. That's our team. The Heart of America Conference will again be tough. There are great teams, great players, great coaches. But we expect to be fighting for that very top spot when this season ends. And we're also fighting for a trip back to Billings, Montana. We haven't forgotten last March. What do we have to do? We have to stay healthy. We have to keep everyone together. But if these things fall into place, we have a chance to be special. Let's go play some ball.